Good morning, everyone. This is Bob Martin with rcsub.com and the Nautilus Dry Docks, and it is a beautiful uh, early Saturday morning, about 5.20 a.m. I um, wanted to show you uh, another quick sub uh, project. This is incomplete, and uh, it's actually going to be sold that way to a customer who's going to undertake finishing it up himself. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to uh, show him what he's getting into, uh, and at the same time, I'll show you uh, what this uh, looks like. So let's take a look. Okay, let's uh, take a look at it. Now this is actually um, just about the first time that I really cracked into this model. I, I actually kind of took it in on trade uh, for another model uh, that I had. Um, but it looks good. This is an RPM Tech uh, kit and it's actually really well engineered uh, and it's really quite beautifully uh, detailed. You can see all of the uh, anechoic tiles are uh, scribed into place there. Uh, and the previous owner actually did not a bad job of, of painting it up and, uh, and weathering it. So, um, let's take a look at this. Let's see if I can do this on screen for you. So the way that this works, uh, the cylinder is actually integrated into the rear section of the boat. And uh, it just kind of slides out like this. And there is the uh, business part of the submarine. So let's just set this aside here for right now and take a quick look at the hull. This is exceptionally light. Uh, it's a very, very thin uh, fiberglass layup. Um, probably one thing the new owner is going to need to do is, is address these seams. Uh, because this is so thin, um, it, it likes to kind of separate a little bit and actually what I would consider doing is actually permanently bonding this uh, to the side provided he can get all of his linkages and periscopes uh, for the, the dive planes and the periscope systems in place and, uh, and kind of working properly. So I'm going to set this aside. And let's take a look at the uh, cylinder itself. So here's the back end. This is a um, uh, a resin uh, propeller. Um, probably wouldn't be my first choice. A metal I think would be a lot uh, you know kind of safer but uh, I mean lots of people have used these without any issue whatsoever. So that's the uh, the beautifully detailed propeller in the back there. Um, basically all of the linkages uh, exit through the, the rear, connect to the dive planes. This uh, is a magnet right here and the way that this is designed is this would um, click into place for actuating the front dive planes. So that was the idea behind that. Taking a look at the, um, the internal section here, can see uh, we got some micro servos, we've got a place for a uh, receiver there, we've got uh, pumps, some air pumps, and the way that this um, boat is actually set up, uh, it's a pump based ballast system, and uh, you can see we've got a forward um, ballast tank compartment and a central slash kind of rear uh, compartment. That allows a lot of versatility and a lot of control uh, over the model because you can ballast it uh, so that it trims out nicely. Uh, we got speed controllers here, um, two more pumps. So really there's a, there's a lot here. Uh, there's a lot to work with, um, but it will take some work. It looks like there's uh, the, the actual ballast tank itself is missing uh, from both sections. It looks to be about a two inch diameter uh, acrylic tube that he's going to need to source. Um, also, the main drive batteries, which were a series of uh, AA NICAD batteries uh, arranged in the bottom sections here, those will have to be rebuilt, and you can see the power leads uh, are in there too. So, really, um, you know, it, it'll take some work, but, uh, you know, he's got a, certainly a really good head start on getting this model put back together and in the water. So 
Um, I hope you like this. This is just going to be, uh, like I said, just a really quick um, overview of the RPM Tech uh, Kilo Kit. Um, if you like what you're seeing, so be sure to subscribe and take a look at uh, some of the new projects coming up like this 66 and a half inch display model uh, for the Nautilus from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and, uh, and this recently completed sea view uh, from Voyage to the bottom of the sea and that's all set up with lighting and everything but that'll be coming later uh, if you like it check back and uh, as always thanks for watching